All right, guys. So this is Next Academy's pitch episode 30, and I am here with Girls Next Door. Girls Next Door. So if you guys want to introduce yourselves. Hi, my name is Denise. I'm Jade. I'm Yong. I'm Carissa, and I'm Nicole. All right. So guys, um, for the pitch, you guys have created a web app, right? So why don't you guys just tell ab- tell us about what you guys created? When we were given the theme hacking travel, we wanted to really bring a female perspective into this. And one of the things that is a big concern for us is safety. So we want to develop a safety app that is targeted towards solo travelers. So hence presenting Go Kai Kai with Auntie. And the reason why we have Auntie as a face of our app is because when you want to travel with somebody who keeps you safe, you want somebody who's trustworthy, who's caring, but who's also really firm with safety. And we kind of feel like Auntie really does embody that. And you don't know what Go Kai Kai means, it's just going out with Auntie. And this is a PWA, a progressive web app that's using React and Python. So let's get started. So when you start, you can register. But for the sake of this presentation, um, I'm just going to do a quick login. The registration is pretty straightforward. So let's log in. And you're going to be directed to the chatbot because you're chatting with your buddy, Auntie. So Auntie is going to say, how can I help you? And you're going to have a selection of four quick menu. And we're going to start with set itinerary for check-ins. The reason why we have this feature is a lot of the times when you're out and you're on your way home, you have this one friend who's like, hey, text me when you get home, okay? So Auntie is actually going to do that for you. And you just quickly set your itinerary by first telling Auntie where are you going. So I'm going to say, Auntie, I'm going to Papika. It's going to look. Confirm the address which she searches for you. It's like, yeah, yeah, correct. <laughs> okay, and then you're gonna tell Auntie what time. Say, I'll be there at 9 p.m. All right, so what this does is at 9 p.m., your geolocation is actually going to be tracked. And if you're not at where you say you're gonna be at the time that you mentioned that you're gonna be at, then Auntie is gonna send you a notification. If you don't say, I'm here, Auntie's actually going to um, wait for a certain period of time and after that trigger an SOS button which we'll get into in just a bit. So, okay. And that's it. So that was a very simple way of creating an itinerary and you can actually see it when you go onto the maps and I'm going to pass on to Jade for this. So, um, our app has got a map feature where you can actually filter through dangerous locations, your itinerary locations, safe locations nearby, uh, and etc. So there was a push notification earlier by Auntie, who tells me that, oh no, we're in, a, we're in a high crime location. We're that orange dot on the map right there. And around it, there's actually been some dangerous happenings. Um, so there's been a theft in that area. So you know which a uh, dark alley not to walk down on your walk home tonight. Um, so let's take it back and um, there's also safe pins nearby and it shows you like clinics nearby, hospitals nearby, police stations nearby. So if you're feeling unsafe, you know that there are all these little, uh, there's all these places that you can go to. Um, so let's take it back a little bit and let's look for the itinerary pin that we just created. So you can see there, um, we filtered out itinerary and now we've uh, yeah, we're at Publica. Auntie will check in at 9 p.m. later tonight. So if you feel like, oh, you know, I didn't feel like going out tonight, so I'm just gonna edit my pin. I'm gonna delete that. And while we're here on the settings page, you know, all the all your basic stuff. You um, edit your basic uh, your contact details, your first language. If you want to con- uh, connect with users who also speak your language in a, in a foreign country and also your emergency contact, which is the most important part. Um, So I'm going to pass this over to Yong to explain the emergency contact to you. So for the emergency contact, we'll be able to fill out the phone number, their name and your relationship in between with the person. So uh, emergency contact is used for when you feel unsafe and you really need to contact someone immediately. You can press SOS button and it will prompt a thing for 7 seconds for you to respond. If you do not respond, the auntie will call, message the person like immediately a message saying your current locations and you need help. So this will allow us to feel safe when we actually need help immediately. So we'll pass on to Carissa. 
Okay, so now let's imagine you just finished a tour at a museum and you're walking home alone and you're feeling unsafe and you feel like you wish you had someone to talk to. And you can actually talk to Auntie. So you can have Auntie give you a call. Hello, Hello Auntie. So you can continue the conversation with Auntie until you've reached a safe place. Um, or you can also enter a video chat with Auntie. And what this does is, let's say for example, you notice someone has been following you and uh, you want to discreetly take a photo of them just in case. And so we can do that. So again, this is just a demonstration, but we're going to, again, just discreetly take a photo of Steven. So what this does is that we're taking a photo of him and we're uploading it into our database. Auntie's gonna check this photo and she's gonna analyze it. And she's going to see if there's anything unusual about this photo. So she's going to check you know, who's in the photo, if it's male, female. She's gonna check if there's any dangerous weapons or substances. So here we do see that Auntie was able to successfully determine 94% probability that this is a male, as well as a 41% <laughs> Probably it's a weapon. And that's, and that's actually correct, right? That's correct, because it's a toy weapon, so that's actually what we would kind of expect for this API to return. So this is a pretty cool feature because A, it's important for the user to have this important info, but also we save all of this info. So if anything were to happen to this user, we'd be able to actually save this information as well as the photo and send it to their emergency contacts. So to overview, Auntie lets you um, make sure that you check in at destinations, also gives you a call if you're feeling lonely. Um, she also notifies you which places are dangerous and safe, as well as notifies your emergency contacts in the case that the user is in danger. So the next time you go on a trip, make sure to go gai gai with Auntie.